Hey, any fish. It's the 27th of May, 2018. And, uh, boy, oh boy, I got to really share some stuff with you today. Actually, I've been sitting on this since yesterday because more and more just keeps being added on. And I actually made notes on this one because it's very deep, very deep. So, you know, I'll do my best. It's just the way it is. But my, I'm telling you right now, my spirit just is really, really telling me that, you know, this is valuable. That, you know, what I'm trying to show you here is is a very important ingredient in understanding, you know, who you are, and what you are, and, and what happens when you die, and... You know, how do you find peace in the world while you are here? And all these questions are really simple to answer. Once you seek the truth, you come to the understanding that you need a savior. In this world, you need to understand that you cannot ever, no man is going to bring you peace and is going to ensure your eternal uh, serenity. I mean, you die. We all die. This flesh dies, and then you are separated again. It's it's like the wheat and the chaff, the goats and the sheep. And once you die, it, your life, because you have to account for it. it you just do. You, your spirit lives on, folks. You you have a soul, you know. And if you really think about it, you know, you know that. You know it. And if you don't, you know, I'm sorry. I don't know what to tell you. But see how I just ramble? I mean, I, I don't want to get away from the subject matter here because this is this is a pretty important stuff. And, you know, I need to tell everybody it's not contingent upon your salvation to know this. You know what I'm saying? It's It's not like if you don't know this and believe it that you're going to hell or anything like that. No. The Spirit of God dwells in those who seek him and believe on him and understand that Jesus was the son of God, is the son of God that came here and his blood was spilled, innocent blood, to cover the sins of the world. And it's as simple as believing on him, but you need to understand that you, you need to be covered, you need to be saved because we can't save ourselves, it's impossible. And when we die, those those chromosomes is what we're going to talk about here. Because this is what's been given to me. Okay, you can accept it or not. But I, I know one thing. My spirit agrees with this 100%. And it's totally scriptural. I mean, it, it matches right up to scripture. Okay, and I'm just going to do the best I can to try and share it with you. I mean, what else can I do? So I see this article and this is what set it all off. LeBron lives the the NBA playoff games, which, you know, I have no interest in whatsoever. And you need to understand that all this is is a medium to illustrate, to manifest the truth through what we see in this world, which is all just a veneer, a, a lie, a smoke, a, a snare. It's designed by Satan to deceive you and keep you from the knowledge of God. Okay? And it's all spelled out right here in this article, in this whole image, everything here. I, I started with LeBron lives. I, I just see that and I know it means something. And I never looked into the name LeBron before. But this is very interesting. It comes from the name Bron, okay? Which is a transgender name just so you know that and it means the source okay you gotta understand that when the sin let's just call it that happened in the garden God's perfect creation Adam which was just a single creation in other words 23 chromosomes the source just like we see with LeBron okay the source then came the sin eve was taken from adam she was of his flesh 
so they are the same 23. They are still one perfect creation for of God. Do you understand? But when the sin occurred, that that was disrupted, let's just say, okay? Because what happened was there were 23 new chromosomes injected into the picture. And I don't know who this guy is, quite frankly. There was a video that I had, that, and there's, there's tons of these that you can find online, videos that explain everything. The mitosis, the, the, the important one that I want you to see is the fact that your cells and mine, all humans, we are comprised of 46 chromosomes. 23 of which we get from mom and 23 of which we get from dad. Now, the way that bloodlines are passed through is through the father. That's how a family seed stays uh, in the family, so to speak. You know, unleavened, if you will. But the human chromosomes became leavened. There are 46 because 23 were added on with the sin and bear Cain. Okay? And then she bear Abel, his brother. Okay? And this is all scriptural, you guys. I mean, there, there are multiple, multiple places that we can, we can find this in the Bible. I mean, it's just all over the place from Genesis. And this is John, 1 John 3, you know. He could, whosoever is born of God does not commit sin, for his seed remaineth in him. Okay, He cannot sin, because he's born of God, not as Cain, who was of that wicked one and slew his brother. Why? Because his own works were evil, and his brothers were righteous. I mean, it's that simple. Okay, The two chromosomes, there were 46 added on, or 23 added on to make 46, and so was born the human duality system that we are in which is of the flesh which is the serpent skin you are in the flesh satan owns it it's his okay this world is his it's he's the prince of the air i mean he can roam to and fro and deceive the world and that's the whole point is to keep you from knowing that you are a spiritual uh, supernatural child of God, essentially, you know, and my terminology and all that stuff, hey, you know, I am who I am, you know, I'm just some dude, literally from the street, who's been, by the grace of God, given life eternal and the understanding of our creator and who we are and all that that goes along with it, and I just have to share it with you guys, okay, so... That's what became of this from the very beginning, stemming from this image. Uh, let's see. Notes. I took notes. We can look at everything. Let's continue looking at LeBron, the source, number 23. This is interesting. He's 33 years old today. Well, not his birthday, but he is 33 years old right now. I even went and took a look at LeBron. Okay. This is all current. He's currently 33 years old. And just get a load of this, okay? Six foot eight, 14, 2.03 meters, 23. The 14 we'll get into in a second, but the 23, okay? 113 kilograms. He was drafted in 2003, 23. Uh, it just solidifies what we're looking at. LeBron James, the source James, James, also known as King James. Very popular label for this guy is King James. James of the Bible, Jesus' brother. I mean, this is just ridiculous. Jesus is the source. He comes directly from the source. He is the door to the source. He is the way to the source. Jesus had 24 chromosomes in the blood found by Ron Wyatt on the Ark of the Covenant hidden in Jerusalem. And my spirit agrees with that. We'll see. 
you know, time will tell. But the King James is the Bible that most Christians refer to. Okay, he's referred to that. Number 23. Let's see my notes here. I was wondering about this stuff earlier yesterday, though, before I came to a lot of this. And I asked for a random Bible verse. And I'm just telling you, this is what came up. 2 Kings 22. That's what came up. Okay. Josiah was eight years old when he began to reign, and he reigned 30 and one years in Jerusalem. Okay, this was Josiah. He was a good king. He did which was right in the sight of the Lord and walked in the way of David's father and turned aside, not to the right or to the left. He didn't follow the way of his fathers. It came to pass in his 18th year, 18th of 31, leaves a remainder of 13, that King Josiah found the book of the law in the house of the Lord when he was rebuilding the temple. Rebuilding the temple. He found the book of the law. Man, this stuff runs so deep. Uh, Josiah, he was very important. Very important. This And this is all about genealogy, you know. The seed. This is all about genealogy. From Adam on. That's what this is all about talking about all right so josiah i come across that as my uh as my random bible verse in two kings 22 which i just that my spirit knows that as the key of david what is the key of david that's the seed that's the the carrying on the passing down of that seed because it needed to stay intact. And that's what Satan has been wanting to do since the beginning is destroy, all right? To, to, there's, there's a hatred, a, a, a wall essentially has been put up. God put it there. He put enmity between the serpent seed and her seed. That hatred, that's, that's that part of you that knows and hates the wicked, dark ugliness we see in the world. But we lash out at it with its own weapons, like we just, like like a cannibal, like a serpent eating its own tail. We see the wicked, and we want to destroy it. But we don't do it through the will of God or through the power of God. No, we do it through our own devices to be self-righteous and self-justify. It's all about justification. This goes like to the it goes so deep that that i mean i wish i could just explain this clearer but anyway there it is king james i mean let's look at his uh let's just look at it. he's 33 years old he plays for the cleveland cavaliers cc which is a 33 they show us the score when it's 96 to 107 69 the 23 times 3 the humans are 46. Add on another set, and you have 69. That's Lucifer. Okay? He wants to eliminate your ability to know God. And that happens through the corruption of the DNA. It was corrupted from the beginning in the garden. The loaf was leavened then. Okay? And since then, God has had to do his absolute mighty works to continue the uh, ability for us to still be reconciled to still be redeemed it's that the hope that blessed hope and he leaves the door for us to knock and the door is jesus christ okay the 23 chromosomes when ron wyatt spoke of this he he explains it very well and i don't have that video pulled up here but it's all about the lineage, the genealogy. That is gene passing. Do you understand? And we all know, you know, the increments of seven and the number seven, how that plays into all this. Abraham was 21st from Adam, 777. Seven, seven. Enoch was 7th from Adam. This, this goes so deep and is so fascinating. But, you know, I just... I don't have the capacity, you guys. 
There's a reason that Isaac was 22nd from Adam and Jacob was 23rd and Judah was 24th. Jesus came from the tribe of Judah. 24 chromosomes. 23 from the mother so he could have a flesh body here and one from the father. Okay? So it all plays in Jacob to 23 because he's that's why we're going to see Jacob's trouble. Because Jacob has refused the Savior, the Messiah. That's all. And it's it, it's simple, but not at the same time. <laughs> I wish I was better at this. But that's why, you know, we see Jesus from the two lines. We see he's 14th and 77th. 77th from Adam. There's a reason for all this. There's a reason Matthias was 69th. All these things. It's so unbelievably fascinating, you know. The crowns, the crown, the triple crown, LeBron James known as King James. I mean, really? The 14, the 7-7, seven, seven, the generations. That's what it represents, the generations. 14, 21, 28, Aminadab. I mean, all these, these uh, people were so critical and crucial to the very survival of of mankind and to be redeemed to god i mean and it's all played out over these many thousands of years which to god a day is a year and our souls are eternal so you know you got to be mindful of what you do in this life the 24 that represents jesus the 24 chromosomes lebron james 23 the source you understand and it's just showing us in dual 140, 140, 24, 24. We can flip them around and see the dark side operating here through the 41 and the 42. I mean, really, this is how this whole world is laid out. I mean, it's unbelievable. The 23 in the dark world. You know what I'm saying? The 23rd letter of the Arabic alphabet in the Western order. And the 12th in the Eastern letter L. Lamb, we're back to lamb. The fish hook. You understand? Someone asked me about the fish hook in my YouTube, you know, whatever you call that. I got to tell you guys that story someday. You know, when I chose, when I created that YouTube channel and chose the images and everything, I had no idea what I was doing. I'm dead serious. I was at like a dead end, like the 50th dead end in my life. Just looking for something to get some answers for something. I was watching a lot of YouTubes. I was gaining a lot of understanding without knowing Christ. And I was moved to create a YouTube channel. And that was back in 2011. And I never opened it, never signed into it basically until 2015. I'd have to go in my channel and look. Uh, and you know, this is just my story. You know, I'm no different than anybody else. Just coming to the knowledge and understanding of Jesus through the grace of God. Because my heart was humbled and I sincerely wanted to know the truth. And that's all you need to do if you haven't already. And this all is just telling the story. Even the, the games, 23, 32. And... I, my goodness, could I go on. I, I want to show you one thing, though. I'm just going to ramble here, you guys. I hope you don't mind. We'll go into the calendar here. May 2018 is a Jewish calendar. This is just super interesting. you got to take this stuff into consideration. We are on the, uh, what, 27th today, right? So we go to the 27th. And check this out. Moses is atop Mount Sinai. This is the year 1313 BCE. Moses went up to the mountain and the cloud covered the mountain. Okay? And it was he was up there six days and he was ushered into the presence of God on the thirteenth of Sivan, which is today. Uh I was looking at the twenty ninth, the fifteenth of of uh Sivan, which is coming up in a couple days here, right? Check out what this day is gonna bring. The birth and the passing of Judah. Okay? 14, 46, 7, 7, and the 46. This is so fascinating, you guys. 
Judah was the fourth son of Jacob and Leah. He was born in Charan on the 15th day of Savan of the year 2196, 777, 69. From creation, he passed away on the same date 119 years later in Egypt. <laughs> Judah took the leadership role in both selling Joseph into slavery and in the brothers' later attempts to find him and free him. Do you understand? This is just so profound. So profound. I sincerely hope you're understanding what I'm showing you here. I really do. Oh, man, it's just amazing. The source King James, the crown, justify, the triple crown. I mean, it's just so amazing, you guys. It, it really, it's, this is just pointing so abundantly to the current time we're in. That we are so close to this being not just revealed, but fulfilled. In other words, the separation God is moving, and Jesus is coming, and he's going to separate those who know him. Do you understand? I hope so. The DNA, folks, don't ever let them mess with your DNA. Don't ever let them give you any kind of mark that causes you to depend on it for your very survival. Because these people are up to such wickedness. 23. I'm just telling you, that's what's going on. And all this is, is just a manifestation from the spiritual to the natural, showing us what's occurring. That you need to seek a Savior, and you need to have His Holy Spirit come and dwell in you. That's when you get that 24th. And that negates Lucifer. It puts a literal eviction notice on his uh, dwelling in you. He's gone. You are saved. You are set apart. Praise God. So seek Jesus today and every day because he's coming. Hopefully I could come up with some more on this because there's, there's more. It, it just goes on and on and on and on and on. It's fascinating, wonderful, and beautiful. Oh, glory to God. King James, 33. <laughs> oh, peace and grace to you all. Many fears. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, 